This is Heather Clark with Running Totally Free. Uh, I know it's been probably a couple days, if not more than that. We just have not been able to get to the uh, t time to film. Um, but the good news is that we have new renters in our home, and um, that's everything with that is settled. And uh, we had a great Halloween, and um, Michael is having a birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday to Michael. Uh, so we'll have a great time together um, tomorrow. Uh, and I had to have some dental work done, and you know, it's just been life. So I had um, filmed a dumpster diving video, you know, last week. I had done part one where I showed um, Michael and I doing a live dumpster dive together. And I had recorded the next day the results of the dumpster dive. And for whatever reason, it just wouldn't download on my phone. And I lost it. So I'm going to try to um, show you at least part of what what we were able to find because um, some of it was food which we've already distributed and frozen and all that kind of thing and then um, some of it was party city items which again we um, gave to some people who we thought might um, be able to use it for their Halloween um, Abby used some and you know that so that's all over the place and then um, and then I think the rest was our Ulta finds, which were fantastic. And so I have that here in the garage with me. We are going to be holding a garage sale on Saturday. So I was thinking I would see if it would sell then. Um, and then otherwise I would list it on Craigslist. But when you guys see this, maybe you'll have better ideas for me because it's pretty massive. Um, and maybe garage sale isn't the right strategy. It's just that, you know, it's not, they're not full. Okay. So I found like a ton of, um, of designer perfumes and a lot of them are like three quarters full. I mean, it's amazing, but they're not brand new. They've been used. So I, I don't really, really know what the right approach is. So I was thinking garage sale and, um, but I'm not even sure how to price it. So if anybody wants to comment below and tell me what you think, that would be awesome. So here goes. Um, thankfully in the, in the dumpster <laughs> were, um, some boxes and coolers and stuff. So right down there we have, uh, Givenchy, Givenchy, um, Prada, uh, I forget, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, um, this is a Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana, um, I, there's another Dolce and Gabbana, just a different kind, like, I have a lot of, like, the same brand, but they're different scents, Chloe, um, I have next, uh, another Dolce Gabbana, I had the, like, light blue, but I don't know why they come in different, why those colors are different. Ralph Lauren, um, Kate Spade. Um, then I've got all these, I've got uh, nail polishes, and that's just, just this one. Uh, what's this? Armani Code. Um, I also managed to get some, whoops, sorry, that's Abby's bike, some hair products. But that's, that's not even it, guys. I mean, wait until you see the rest of this, too. All right, so there's this box and this box. Um, maybe you guys recognize some of this stuff. There's um, Prada, a Prada pink one. There's um, this Prada, which is only blue because nail polish got on it. Um, this is Marc Jacobs. Um... Michael Kors, Sexy Amber, I don't know, <laughs> um, Jimmy Choo, uh, New York City Blossom Delight, I've never heard of that before, um, Calvin Klein, another Calvin Klein, um, I think this is like Aqua de Gio, but this is Air, uh, I don't know what that is, Kenzo, here's another Chloe. Abby really likes that scent. Um, here's Versace, Yellow Diamond. Um, another Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Another K 
Kate Spade. Um, oops, I showed you that one. There's another Gucci. Some of them were near, oh, J'adore. Some of them were near broken bottles or, um, so they're like, have little shards. I gotta clean them up. Um, so I have to be careful. Anyway, now down here, now you notice some of these have tops that are missing, so I'm gonna try to um, match up the tops. But this is Dot by Marc Jacobs. There's Fendi. Um, very Givenchy. Um, I mean, it just keeps going, guys. Burberry. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I mean, do you see what I mean? It's like, oh gosh, Chanel number no. five. Um, here's another Burberry. I mean, I love that plaid. Um, Marc Jacobs Cotton. Uh, let's see, I don't know what this is. Jasmine Noir Bulgari. Uh, there's another Bul Bulgari here. This one, I don't know what that is. Um, even a little Estee Lauder, <laughs> which just cracks me up because I remember Estee Lauder from um, my childhood. <laughs> and then I have this random just stuff too. Um, so that was like a major haul from um, Ulta. And uh, I was really excited about it. But then at the same time, I was like, now what do you do with this? Because I'm not going to wear all this perfume. <laughs> Um, surely somebody will want to buy it and, um, and, you know, every little bit counts, uh, to, you know, at a garage sale. So, um, I don't know. So tell me your thoughts and, um, uh, I'll see, see what happens. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I will do, I also have some things, Abby and I went again to, um, to Goodwill because we're, you know, we're working through our, our list of um, clothing items that are missing for this fall and winter. So I'll be back with another video um, and I'll show you what we, what we found there. All right. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh, and if you like what you saw and um, you'd like to see more dumpster diving hauls, um, please subscribe below and we'd love to have you at Running Totally Free. Bye.